Okay, so yes, yet another Mac Jones film study. We're going to start off with this play, and some of you might be wondering, Jackson, you've already made a couple Mac Jones film studies. Why are you making yet another one? Well, the reason is I've finally figured out how to get all 22 footage for college. Uh, only took me forever, and I figured it out after uh, the draft started, so I mean, that kind of made, made things a little bit more difficult, but you know, I have it now, which is nice, and I figured, hey, I'll, you know, most of this stuff just reaffirms what I know, because you can still learn stuff from the broadcast footage, but makes things a little easier, and so I figured I'd make a film study about this, maybe some other college players as well, uh, and just sort of, you know, talk about some stuff with a better angle to explain what I mean. So, this is a great example of something like that, that you can use the All-22 to really talk about something that you could see with broadcasts, but it's easier to see with this angle. It's how he uses his eyes to get guys open. And when people say Mac Jones is a super smart quarterback, he's the smartest quarterback they've ever seen, blah, 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 this is what they mean. It's not necessarily him getting to a second read. It's not necessarily him reading defenses so much because it's college. The defenses are just nowhere near as complex as they are in the NFL. Largely what it is, is it's stuff like this, where you see that the way this play is supposed to work is you have a receiver run over the middle. And what you want to do is you want to get the safety to move up like that. Because if he goes up, then, or and by up, I mean, you know, to, towards the top of the screen, which would be to the offense's right. And if he does that, you can get him out of position. And then when you get him out of position, another player runs across the middle. There's no safety over there. He can potentially get open. That's what you hope happens. On top of this, there's going to be a corner who's basically just going to be taking away uh, the receiver who's running over the middle. So since the corner will just go in that direction, uh, then ba you know basically shadowing him, you hope that the safety and the corner can go towards the top of the screen. And the receiver who runs to the bottom of the screen could get wide open. And watch Mac Jones. He takes the snap and watch him just follow that receiver. He's staring down the receiver who is just trying to set stuff up. That's not the receiver they want to throw to. This is entirely him just using his eyes to get people out of position. So all of the defensive players who are in that area are expecting that to be where the ball goes. And so this is just a good job of understanding how to use where you're looking to benefit you. And so then when he comes back, he does make this throw and it's just wide open for a touchdown. And that's the kind of thing where on one hand, you could look at that and say, oh, wow, the receiver got wide open. Mac Jones didn't have to do anything, but he was a big part of why that got wide open. And that's, you know, to think about like a Tom Brady, for example, you've seen that happen plenty of times where someone gets wide open. You're like, how did he get wide open? And it's because Tom Brady actually did stuff to help him get open. Uh, not just because of, you know, a receiver was really good. And obviously, you know, no one's done it better than Tom Brady. But guys do it good. Guys do it poorly. Mac Jones is someone who did it very well in college. This plays another example. It's man coverage. So you're not going to get someone, you know, completely open. There's always going to be someone, uh, no matter where you throw it to, unless there's a busted coverage. But there's only a safety deep. And really, the main thing you do when you use your eyes is you get the safety out of position. That's the main thing you can do as a quarterback. And watch how Mac Jones, you know, uh, fakes the handoff. And at this point, you see him look up towards the top of the screen. And he's almost even looking over where the receiver would be. But you look at number nine, the safety, he is buying into this. And again, I think some people will argue how much will this really work on NFL talent? Obviously, college talent, you're going to get fooled a lot easier than uh, the NFL talent guys will get fooled. But, you know, uh, it's something good, and you definitely can fool guys, absolutely. Because watch how Jones then gets back over the middle, and he makes this throw. And the safety, you know, I mean, if we're being honest, he was still able to kind of get into position a little bit. So Jones could have potentially done a bit of a better job at really uh, just getting the ball there, I would say. He did a great job of using his eyes. But then, you know, maybe could have thrown a bit more on a line. Maybe was a little bit too uh, high up there. But also, there was a window. And again, it's more about how he uses his eyes to get players out of position. And he did a very good job. And I would also argue, uh, maybe have the receiver just run towards the sideline as opposed to doing that would make things a little bit easier on top of this. But again, uh, it's, it's a cool thing he can do. I'll show the other angle just so that you can see how, you know, he does look to one side, then look to the other and make the throw. So just that way you can kind of see the angle a little bit better. See that, yeah, that is what he's doing. He is doing a great job of uh, using his eyes. So just one small thing, not the biggest deal in the world, but it is something that, in my opinion, does matter. And so I figured I would 
bring it up. Now, if we want to talk about something like this, this is something I have brought up, but maybe I haven't really talked about as much as I should have. This is something he's going to have to work out of his game. And I think a lot of people love to sit here and say, well, if you have some flaws, you'll, you know, fix it. I don't really care about how high IQ player you are. I just want someone who, you know, has the physical tools and they can learn that stuff in the NFL. That's great to think, but if we're being honest, these guys are 22, 23, 24 years old. Most of them are about going to be, you know, not as smart as you'll ever get, but it's very rare for someone to come in and have very low football IQ and grow it into very high football IQ. That very rarely happens. Typically, smart guys are smart. Dumb guys are dumb. Typically, if you do something, you know, if there's an IQ thing that you do well, you continue to do it well. And if you don't do it well, you don't do it well. Yeah, uh, I've repeated myself a little bit, but there you go. This play is an example of something he's going to have to fix. Uh, you see that there's a receiver running over the middle. It's The concept itself is not that important. Just watch what happens. Watch how Mac Jones, you know, fakes the handoff. And at this point, there's nobody around him. And the receiver is wide open. So, what do you do? You step into the throw and you, you know, hit the wide open receiver. That's what you should do. And Mac Jones, the biggest critique I have of him is he's very timid at even the slightest glimpse of potential pressure. That's that's a big issue with Jones. And in the NFL, when pressure comes a lot quicker, if you're always throwing off your back foot when there's some slight pressure, you're going to be always throwing off your back foot. And so watch how he is going to, you know, again, timid, throw off his back foot. And it's weird because he will show glimpses of him you know, showing good footwork. So I don't think it's like impossible for him to learn it. If I had to bet on it, I would say that there's a very real chance he does learn how to do that stuff. But again, uh, as much as we like to say, oh, well, that's just something you have to learn. It's a wild card. And that's kind of, especially for someone who I can't interview Mac Jones. I don't know if that's something he's been working on or if it isn't. And if it isn't, that would be concerning for me and maybe a, a reason to not draft him. Uh, and if it is, well, then I would be thrilled and I would say, okay, we'll probably draft him then because he does so much else so well. Something like this is another good example where what's going to end up happening on this play is, again, to talk about another narrative that does exist with Mac Jones, it's the, well, he has poor arm strength. And I just don't know if I fully agree with that. I mean, don't get me wrong. He doesn't have the arm strength of uh, Trevor Lawrence. He doesn't have the arm strength of uh, Justin Fields. He just, you know, Trey Lance uh, or probably even Zach Wilson. You know, all of the top guys. I think you could argue that Kellen Mond has uh, better arm strength. In fact, I think it'd be hard to argue the contrary. So, like, yes, his arm strength might not be as good as, you know, what a lot of people consider the other five of the top six guys. But that doesn't make it bad. And in fact... If you're accurate and still have a pretty big arm, then I think you're fine. His arm strength isn't Tua's either. It's not like he has a noodle arm. His arm is fine. And this is an example. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one ma matchup towards the sideline. And this is going to end up being a true one-on-one -on -one matchup. And as you see, Jones, again, fakes a handoff. And he is going to make this throw. And it's just a beautifully accurate throw right there. So, again... Yes, he's not Brett Favre, but if you can consistently, accurately throw balls down the field that are completions, well, who cares? I mean, I don't care if it's, you know, getting there a little bit faster. If a catch is a catch and a touchdown is a touchdown, and he can consistently do that. And accuracy downfield, in my opinion, is much more important than just being able to throw it downfield. So I actually like his deep ball. This might get me in trouble. I don't know. But I like his deep ball more than Justin Fields because Fields isn't as accurate. Mac Jones doesn't have as big of an arm, but is much more accurate. And that's just what I care about down the field, stuff like that, because it's it seems like down the field, uh, the accuracy is important. It really is. So I don't know. I could be wrong about that. But as a whole, there's a lot to like about Jones, and I do think that he's one of those people. The more tape you watch of him, the more you like of him. There are some flaws, specifically the footwork thing. Uh, that's something he has to work out. And a lot of times when you see like sort of the bad, uh, you know, not throwing it well in terms of down the field, a lot of times it's that footwork thing of there's a little bit of pressure and he's panicky. Don't get as panicky. Maybe it's just, you know, something that happened to him because he was playing behind a good offensive line, which won't happen that much uh, in the NFL, even though, I mean, they have a great offensive line, but just it's the NFL, so you get more pressure when you're there than when you're in college, uh, no matter how good your offensive line is in New England. But yeah, just some things I noticed. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.